Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Answer the Call. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries all around the world that are serious about doing that. Today, our next story is in Locust Grove, Georgia. We're visiting Strong Rock Christian School. With me is Paul McCracken, the CEO, head of school. Paul, thank you so much for spending some time with our viewers. Thanks, Chuck. We've uh, thoroughly enjoyed having you and your crew on campus here. Yeah, last couple days, we've seen a lot of great students, faculty, people just look like they love to be here. But why don't we start with your story? How did God put you in the saddle over here? Well, um, I actually came to Strong Rock as the CFO 10 years ago and uh, felt very comfortable in that job, enjoyed what I was doing. Uh, it's, there's not a lot of places where you get to uh, really feel like you're in a ministry while you're doing accounting. And, uh, and, and we were able to do that here and I loved it. Uh, about four years ago, uh, the board approached me about taking the CEO head of school position. And uh, I have to tell you, it, it was, uh, it, it scared me a little bit because I, you know, I was sitting in my comfortable position as CFO. I knew all about that. Right. CEO knew a little less about that. Yeah. But you know, God doesn't call us to be comfortable. He calls us to be faithful. Yeah. And uh, he kept reminding me that and used some of our, our staff and board members to, uh, to tell me stories like Moses and some of those other ones yeah. uh, until I, I uh, finally understood that that is exactly what God was calling me to be. And so about uh, four years ago, I accepted the position as head of school and, and that's what I've uh, been since then. Yeah, well, it's amazing because you're right. Does, God does call people and he equips them in the process. And when we started talking about Strong Rock Christian School, you said, man, you guys got to come tell our story. There's been some miracles here. So tell us some of that, uh, some, of the, some of the genesis and some of the miracles yeah, over the just, years. Um, we started the school. It opened its doors in 2007. And uh, that's, of course, right at the, the front end of the recession in, in the United States and, and around the world. And so uh, we had just launched a school. They said, you can't build it this big. They won't come. And we opened the, the doors with, with 400 plus students and uh, they did come and, and uh, there were some definitely some lean times during those years in the recession. There was many times where uh, it seemed like uh, it was hopeless or that we, we maybe were not going to be able to make it. But each time God sent somebody at just the right time yeah. uh, with just the right need uh, to help us through that time. And it just showed that God was faithful. and. Each time it, it showed us that we needed to worry less because right. he, had, he had it under control. Right. And so um, I think over time, uh, it, it just helped us to know, again, we didn't always know where it was going to come from or how he was going to solve which need that we had. Right. Uh, but there was a confidence there because we could see God at work in Strong Rock, right. uh, in, in the students' lives, in, in, in the families that we touched, in the faculty. And that we just we had a sense that he was working here, yeah. and we knew that as long as we were faithful to his calling, mm -hmm. as long as we were good stewards of all that he entrusted us to, yeah. that he would take care of the rest. And he has. That's He's true. proved so faithful over the years. Yeah. Well, we're excited because it's a K through 12 school, and a lot of times it's just community based. But you're allowing the whole world to see what God's doing here. And the topic of Christian education is is very is very important. So. Talk about the importance of a Christian worldview and, and teaching that next generation you know, through that perspective. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to go any further than our mission statement uh, where it talks about, uh, first of all, we're gonna glorify God. That's at the heart of it. Uh, but then we're, we're, we're designed to partner with families because it is so important that somebody is educating that next generation uh, to do God's work. And, uh, we love our friends at the public school. Uh, we love our, our fellow Christian schools. Uh, there is a religion taught at each school. Um, and, and it may be a secular humanism type of religion, but, but we feel that um, our students are being bombarded every day by the world, by the culture, um, through social media, through music, TV, print, uh, through their phones. Uh, it, it's like a 24-7 bombardment of, of, yeah. of the current culture, the secularism, and, and basically uh, more and more an anti-Christ uh, type of message. And so we're just so happy that we're able to, to give them a biblically-based worldview education uh, 
uh, centered on Christ. Uh, so every aspect of everything that we teach here is, is on the foundation of, of the Bible and God's word. And so um, yeah. it's, it's just, we feel that that's critically important uh, for that next generation because um, we need to build the foundation that's going to allow them to be successful when they move on from here. Yeah, that's a good point. And, you know, it is academics and it is Bible, but you guys do a whole lot more. You have athletics and talk about that, the holistic yeah, approach. We, we call it our four pillars and we have athletics, fine arts, uh, missions and academics. And, and you know, obviously uh, academics is always going to rise to the top. They're all very important. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. And we want to be the best at everything we do. And, and so we want to have the best academics, the best sports programs, the best coaches and everything. But the most important piece of that is going to be the kingdom side and, and, and so the mission side. And you can be a really smart kid, but if you don't know Christ, um, yeah. what's that going to do to you when you leave here? And so foundationally important to us is, is our Bible classes. And so we've, we've created a, a dedicated Bible department, uh, and we've went out and grabbed some of the best uh, ministers and Bible teachers that we can to teach it. And we're teaching tough stuff to the kids because um, we want them to be able to uh, think clearly. We want them to be able to challenge uh, what they believe in. And most importantly, we want them to know why they believe it. Because when they walk out of here, they're going to be challenged almost yeah. immediately, whether they in the workforce right. or at college. And we know that uh, there's going to be challenges to that yeah. faith. And, right. and they can't just say, I believe that because my dad believed it or my Sunday school teacher told me to believe it. Right. They can go out and say, I believe it because I've, I've read it in God's word. I know that this Bible is true because I've looked at the, the, the data behind it. And, and, and not only that, I've felt the personal experience in my life right. uh, that Jesus has made. And so we're trying to prepare yeah. them. Sometimes we don't always know if we're successful. Sometimes right. it takes a number of years. But yeah. we're planting the seed, and that's what we're called to do. The Holy Spirit will take care of the rest. Right. Uh, but we're just trying to be faithful and to, and to prepare them academically, but most importantly for life. Right. Um, so when we, we talk about uh, uh, the staff, I know when we talk with your leadership, uh, they, you, you give a lot of credit to the staff. And, you know, it is team work that makes the dream work. I get that. But leadership and, and then you got the, the teachers. So, I mean, yeah. you have an incredible staff. I'm so blessed uh, to work with the staff and administration that I work with. First of all, I have, I have the best leadership team. Uh, we work well as a team. Uh, they are all very talented individuals, and again, most of them could be somewhere else, uh, probably making more money. But I believe that each staff member, each faculty member, each support person has been called to Strong Rock. I was called here a little over 10 years ago, uh, and, and it was the happy day, happiest day of my life. But I believe each one of our staff has been called here too, and we have some of the best faculty and support staff around, and they are truly what makes the difference. They're sincere heart for God and then their sincere concern and love for the students right. is, is why I think we've been able to grow to nearly a thousand students over the past few years is because when people come here and the students uh, they, they see that that somebody actually cares about them and and, mm -hmm. and again if, if they they learn in a little different way the teacher uh, mm -hmm. will work with them in that way to make them the most successful student or the most successful athlete uh, the most successful performer uh, yeah. or the most successful disciple that they can be. Yeah. And that's important. As you and I were talking over the last couple of days, you mentioned that some schools are birthed from a church or even a denomination, but you guys are really independent and you're serving the whole community at large. And you know, some schools require a covenant yeah. signature. So explain that a little bit on how you know, it's open to everybody. I think that's important. Yeah, yeah. We, we are a, mini, uh, a, a mission field, and uh, we allow any, any parent to come. They, uh, they just have to sign a statement saying that they understand and agree that we are going to teach the Bible. We're going to teach God's Word to them uh, unapologetically. And uh, no matter what faith they are, if they're Christian, if they're atheist, um, mm -hmm. if they're Hindu or Muslim, um, 
they're welcome to come as long as they understand that's the premise that we're, we're starting from. And we're happy to teach the Bible for them. We, uh, un unfortunately, we are the only church that some of our families have. Right. Uh, and so that's a big responsibility. Uh, yeah. We don't, we don't want to be the church. I believe that every student and every family needs to be a part of their local church. Um, yeah. Yeah. So if we can point them to a local church uh, through some of their friends or, or some of our community pastors that, that come on campus, we want yeah. to do that. Right. But in the meantime, we're going to teach them Bible, yeah. uh, and we're, we're going to teach them some theology, and we're going to challenge their faith. Right. And, and we're going to teach them about God and about yeah. salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. So as a season as a CFO and now CEO, head of the school, uh, you guys have some plans, and God has given you a vision to build out the property. Talk about how important it is for folks to support Christian education. It's not all, you know, driven by tuition dollars, right? Yeah, so. yeah. I, I think there's a big misconception that, uh, you know, if, you, if you're a student here, uh, you pay tuition, and, and tuition can be expensive. Uh, but I don't think we've ever built a single building from tuition dollars. It comes from gifts from from uh, faithful believers uh, who want to leave a legacy of, of touching young children and changing their lives. Again, these are our future leaders. This is the next generation, right. so yeah. um, they're going to be caring for you and me, Chuck. And so <laughs> I, 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 I need a little more uh, Christ in them, I think, right. uh, yeah. uh, when they get to that next generation. And so... Um, we want to grow so that we can minister to more families. Right. Um, it, it's all about um, bringing glory to God mm -hmm. and about loving kids and families. And yeah. So the more families that we can impact, mm -hmm. uh, the better we can do. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, and we are funded. We are working on a building project right now. Uh, we would love to expand our campus. We would love to expand our programs and the offerings that we have to students yeah. and to continue uh, to in increase uh, the, the talents and the things that we can teach them to send yeah. out in the world uh, so that we can make them better equipped. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So why do you do what you do? What gets you up in the morning? Uh, you know, I, I think my favorite thing uh, to say is, like, what do you do? Or, or, or how do you define yourself? You know, somebody say, I'm an accountant or, or I'm a truck driver or something. I'm a child of God. Yeah. And so why I do what I do is because I'm a child of God and he's called me here. And, and when you're in the place where God places you to be, mm -hmm. it, there's, there's peace. There's peace. Mm -hmm. When you're not, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable, yeah, uh, yeah, and, exactly. And so, you know, I, I felt unequipped for this position when I took it. And then, and, and so I prayed to God and said, God, if you want me to do this job, then you are going to have to equip me with the tools for it because I don't have them. Right. And then I watched him take uh, fears that I had and, and, and provide just what I needed. Again, I, I don't pretend to be uh, an all-knowing <laughs> CEO. I'm certainly not the best public speaker. Um, but he's given me uh, the tools that I need mm -hmm. to be at. And again, most of the time, Chuck, I, I try to stay out of his way and just let him work through me. Amen. Um, and be a good steward of, of what he's called me and to be faithful to the mission of Strong Rock and to the gospel. Amen. That's a good word. So, you know, final question. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with our viewers before we uh, get some more interviews? Man, like I said, Strong, Strong Rock is here uh, b because we want to love on families. We want to love on students. and We want to prepare them for the, for the next stage of their life. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, so, many, so many kids fall away uh, when, they, when they leave high school and they get to the college. And so we just want to make sure that, that we've done everything that we can, first of all, to expose them to what they're going to face, yeah. and then to prepare them and to build that foundation so that they're ready to withstand the storm uh, that, that they will face uh, when it gets there. And so some of them, uh, we don't know if, they're, if, they're, uh, if it got through. Yeah. Um, some of them, we feel they're pretty comfortable. Right. Uh, but the fact is, uh, on this side of heaven, we may never know how much right. we've impacted right. them, yeah. but, but we know that we were faithful in laying that framework. So it, it may be two years or 20 right. years. Right. But there's a foundation built in them that God can work on someday. Yeah, it's a strong rock foundation. Yeah. yeah that's good. You. Amen. 
and ripple effects go far and wide. You know, we're yeah. called to plant seeds in water, and, and God gives the increase. And That's He right. lets you see some of the fruit. I hear you got some alumni calling back and, and giving you some stories and testimonies, right? Yeah, saying yeah. thank you. It, it's it's always it's always nice when when a, a student who who maybe you, when they left you felt maybe they didn't get it, uh, but then they're the first uh, to come back and, and tell us a story or. or or they come back and tell us that they've decided to, to go into the ministry or something, and, yeah. and it's just, we're just so blown away for it. Um, we've got uh, a number of our alumni who are, who are back and teaching uh, our, our students again, and they just, uh, just kind of want to give back to what they received when they were here. We're so happy to see yeah. the next generation of Strong Rock coming in, and now we've got kids as kids here, uh, and that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Very cool. Listen, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some of the staff, some of the, some of the students even, so you can hear what God is doing here through Strong Rock Christian School, Locust Grove, Georgia. Keep watching. Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. How would you like to partner with Overcomers TV? Become a ministry partner, spreading the good news about your ministry and Jesus Christ. We're selecting ministries for upcoming episodes of Answering the Call. We can also help you produce your own show. Partnering with us is easier than you think. Just visit our website, overcomerstv.live. Be an overcomer today with Overcomers TV.